We're starting with this breaking news this morning. Traffic backed up along State Route 94 after a deadly crash. News 8's Evan Arani joins us live near Spring Valley with a closer look at this investigation. Good morning to you, Evan. Good morning, Stella and Eric. That's right. If your commute takes you along the 94 eastbound, then you're going to run into some trouble just around the Avocado uh, Boulevard as well as the uh, Silverwood Springs Boulevard or the um, this is in the, about the Spring Valley neighborhood. So uh, if you're traveling in this direction, then you're going to want to uh, make sure to plan for alternate routes. What we know so far is that these roads are blocked off. We'll show you some of the video that we got from uh, yesterday, which includes uh, what we've been told so far. You can kind of get an idea of uh, what happened. So we believe this took place late last night, a fatal car crash uh, late last night. It's also believed that that first crash, the initial crash of one vehicle and possibly one person on the highway led to a second crash, but we are still waiting on confirmation as far as how many vehicles were involved, uh, how many uh, people were involved in this overall. Uh, for now, you'll have to exit at Sweetwater Springs Boulevard and won't be able to continue on to Avocado Boulevard and law enforcement still on the scene here. Caltrans is on the scene. We believe what's going on right now as of uh, this time frame is Caltrans is still trying to finish up the construction where they started. Uh, we have the idea that this happened right around the area where Caltrans workers were working and doing construction on the side of 94 eastbound. We don't have confirmation yet if this involved a Caltrans worker or not, but what we know right now is that the area that was involved in this crash is an area where construction is underway. It looks like they're wrapping that up right now before reopening the 94 eastbound. But again, if you are in this area for now, you'll have to take that Sweetwater Springs Boulevard. You will not be able to continue farther down onto Avocado Boulevard. So still trying to piece together some of this information. We do know that this was a fatal crash. We are still waiting on confirmation as to how many people were involved, how many vehicles were involved and uh, what the circumstances were. But of course, uh, we're still pretty early in the morning right now and we'll bring you that as uh, we get more information.